Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Sabahat and welcome to my live session. So I'm just going to go on different platforms and see who's live with me at the moment. And then I'll be back in the chiffy. And those of you who are watching me at the time, uh, so do let me know where you're logging from. Are you from Pakistan? Are you from abroad? Or are you from any other province or district of Pakistan? So just let me know. And if there's uh, uh, this light which is coming from my background, if it's very sharp, or blazing and it's getting into your eyes to let me know so I can change or adjust the angles accordingly okay. So. okay I think it's better well uh, I hope uh, some of you might have guessed what the top what today's topic is about uh, though it's uh, not the complete quote it's just a fragment of the quote so if you can guess do let me know uh, what you think about this quote and what do you think I plan to talk about? So you can just let me know and I'm just going to go and check on the social platforms if uh, I can see other people. Okay, it's Sunny Suleria. So Sunny Suleria, if uh, my English is um, uh, like it's very difficult and you aren't able to understand it, then uh, what you can do is you can always use a plugin so you can understand my English. So, baki to yahan par jitne log hain wo meri jo hai mix and match English Urdu samaj hi lete hain. So, agar aapko jo hai zada dikkat hoti hai, to you can always use the plugin. Okay. So, um, let's see who else do I have over here, and uh, then I can you know just start with the session. Okay, so I can see the comments. So thank you for these comments. And uh, let's see. Okay. Right. So I'm just, you know, going to uh, disconnect any kind of distractions. So I don't, you know, get these messages while I'm live. Okay, so there they go. So, um, those of you who are live, how many people have seen the night of the night? Like, uh, when the sun is dark, so is there anyone who has any experience? So, is there anyone who has any experience? Have you ever watched uh, those dark nights when the sun is dark and the sun is not visible? Kuch to visible hota hi hai. But then, if anyone has had that experience, so do share it in the comment box so I know you have had that experience. And those of you who do not have that experience, you can also share in the comment box whether you have, you know, had that experience or you haven't had that experience. Because today's topic, it's linked with that experience. So that's why I'm asking. Okay. So, uh, you know what? Today's topic, it's about, it's a quote, it's a full quote, and the quote is, even in the depths of despair, remember that the darkest nights produce the, bright, produce the brightest stars. So, hold on, for your dawn is coming. Now, that's the quote which I aim to discuss today and analyze it, and I want to analyze why is it said that even in the times of despair, uh, one should always uh, look out for the brightest stars. Why is it said? For the simple reason, ask us your topic. Hai, it is for those people who are in despair, who think that life is all about despair and there is nothing good in life, and they are dejected, they are depressed, they are um, uh, looking at life totally in a negative way, and they aren't you know um, looking at the brighter side of things so I aim to discuss those things that why you should look at life and look at the um, brighter prospects like even jo ghop andhera hai jo sky mein darkest of the sky bhi ho to usme jo hai hamesha aapko chamakte hue jo hai satare nazar aayenge even in that darkest uh, night so the same is with life कि लाइफ में जब आपको लगेगा कि लाइफ टोटली अंधेरी हो गई है और उसमें जो है कुछ अच्छा नहीं है तो देन देयर आर गोइंग टू बी स्टेंसेस देयर आर गोइंग टू बी इवेंट्स जब आपको उस अंधेरी लाइफ में भी एक उम्मीद की किरण नजर आएगी सो यू हैव टू लिंग ऑन एंड हिंग ऑन एंड यू नो यू हैव टू 
थिंक अबाउट दैट थिंग यू हैव टू लुक फॉर दैट पॉजिटिविटी जो कि आपको ड्राइव करे एंड यू कैन कम आउट ऑफ दोज डार्क मोमेंट्स सो आज जितनी चीज़ें होंगी इट्स गोइंग टू बेस ऑन वॉट आर द थिंग्स जिन पर आप जो है होकअप कर सकते हैं और थ्रू डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल्स थ्रू डिफरेंट पॉइंट्स I will try to explain this whole phrase, this whole quote. So those people who are in despair, or those who think that there is nothing good in life, and life is all dark, and uh, there is no brightness in life. So you will be able to resonate that. कहाँ कहाँ आपको जो है life में वो जो एक optimism है वो नजर आता है. You just have to look out for that optimism, and it's going to be obvious to you. So. Um, the first thing is that like uh, you find resilience in your personal struggles bahut se aise log hain jo ki apne personal struggles mein jo hai they uh, get this kind of resilience ab kis tarike se ho sakta hai ek student jo ki musalsal taiyari karta hai exam ke liye and that student fails either wo fail karta hai ya ye hai ki uske bahut kam marks aate hain so what does that student do इवन आप में से जो लोग स्टूडेंट्स हैं वट डू यू डू वेन यू फेल अ सब्जेक्ट या आपके कम मार्क्स आते हैं डू यू गिव अप सो जस्ट क्विकली टेल मी डू यू गिव अप या जो लोग जो है कभी जो है स्टूडेंट लाइफ में रहे हों वट डिड यू डू एज अ स्टूडेंट क्या आपने जो है जो आप पढ़ते थे आपके अगर उस सब्जेक्ट में अच्छे मार्क्स नहीं आते थे क्या आप सब कुछ छोड़ छाड़ देते थे कि भाई ये इसमें तो जो है फेल हो गए अब इसको तो करने का कोई फ़ायदा ही नहीं है ये तो एजुकेशन का भी कोई फ़ायदा नहीं है सो वट डि यू डू एज स्टूडेंट्स so the thing is that which i think even as students even though you are failing you do not leave that subject you do not give up instead what you do is you focus on your mistakes and you try to improve upon it so jo subjects hamare jo hai weak hote hain as students as even as professionals we do not give up on those subjects we do not say okay bhai ye to mere bas ki baat hi nahi hai i cannot do this ye ye concept hum to samajh hi nahi aa raha so just leave this concept iski jagah kuch jo hai blank words wagaira use kar denge to it's going to be all okay no th- this does not happen like this similarly life bhi is tarike se नहीं चलती लाइफ में जो भी आपकी मुश्किल आती हैं जिस तरह का स्टूडेंट है ही इज़ और शी इज़ कंटिन्यूसली फेलिंग इन अ पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू लीव दैट सब्जेक्ट ऑल टुगेदर इंस्टेड दे आर गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन देर वीक एरियाज एंड दे आर गोइंग टू इम्प्रूव अपॉन इट सो जब वो इम्प्रूव करेंगे जो फेलियर्स उनको मेरे होंगे वो उनमें रिजिलियंस बिल्ड करेंगे एंड दे कम अप एज अ मोर न्यू पर्सन एज अ मोर यू नो स्ट्रॉगर कैंडिडेट एज अ मोर स्ट्रॉगर स्टूडेंट to cater for the mistakes one has already done and they would ultimately improve upon it so this is the number one thing that aap apni personal struggle se bahut hi strong banke ubharte hain aur wo to strength hoti hai it helps you in overcoming any kind of obstacles that are coming in your way so this is the number one thing acha isme second bhi jo hai again phir ek aur cheez aati hai that is overcoming professional challenges a professional challenges jo hai kya hoti hain like when you are in student life obviously you are going to face study problems or study challenges honge when you come into your professional life to professional life mein bhi bahut se challenges hote hain sabse bada challenge ye hota hai ki how are you going to obtain a job आजकल जो है बहुत ज़्यादा जो सिनेरियो एक बना हुआ है कि पीपल हैव डिग्रीज बट दे डोंट हैव जॉब्स सो उसमें क्या होता है यू आर ट्राइंग अगेन एंड अगेन ऑन द सेम जॉब सेम वही एफर्ट्स आप कर रहे हैं सेम वही सीवी आप जो है अपलोड कर रहे हैं इफ़ यू आर वर्किंग ऑनलाइन और इफ़ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर अ जॉब ऑनलाइन दैन यू आर अप्लाइंग और अपलोडिंग द सेम सी अगेन एंड अगेन सो एज अ रिजल्ट आपको क्या मिल रहा है यू आर फेसिंग फेलियर so in order to you know overcome that professional failure what you need to do is you have to have to see first examine what is the requirement of the job like aam taur pe jo hai what i feel is people uh, are in you know desperate need of having a job and they do not go through the job requirements so whatever job is coming they are applying on it blindly without even thinking ke bhai wo skill set jo ke mang रही है जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन में वो आप मीट कर भी सकते हैं या नहीं कर सकते यू माइट बी ऑल राउंडर बट देन अगेन आपके भी सर्टेन लिमिटेशन होंगे देर माइट बी मैनी थिंग्स विच यू माइट बी गुड एट एंड देन देर माइट बी अदर थिंग्स विच यू आर नॉट गुड एट ओके बिफोर यू नो कंटिन्यूइंग इज माई वॉइस ऑडेबल कैन एवरी वन हेयर माई वॉइस 
सो लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट बॉक्स इफ माई वॉइस इज ऑडिबल लाइक सरी सुनेरिया इन द मॉर्निंग यू सेट माई वॉइस वॉज नॉट ऑडिबल सो इफ इट्स ऑडिबल डू लेट मी नो मान चौधरी कैन यू हेयर माई वॉइस एम आई ऑडिबल ओके आई थिंक आई एम ऑडिबल कॉज आई चेक्ट माई ओन वॉइस एट द बिगिनिंग सो आई वॉज ऑडिबल ओके सो दोज ऑफ यू जो कि मुझे कोई कुछ नहीं बता रहे तो इट्स फाइन आई हैव ऑलरेडी चेक फ्राम द अदर साइड सो आई एम ऑडिबल आई वॉज जस्ट री कन्फर्मिंग ओके सो यू नो आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट ओवरकमिंग प्रोफेशनल चैलेंजेस सो जो आपके प्रोफेशनल चैलेंजेस होते हैं लाइक वेन गुड अप्लाइंग फॉर अ जॉब यू हैव टू सी वॉट इज़ द रिक्वायरमेंट और वॉट इज़ द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दैट सर्टन जॉब दैन अगर आपका जो है सर्टन स्किल सेट है सर्टन स्किल सेट नहीं है और इफ़ यू डू नॉट मीट दिस जॉब एट ऑल दैन डोंट अप्लाई फॉर दैट जॉब बट दैन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई फॉर दैट जॉब एंड यू आर इन डेस्परेट नीड दैन वॉट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन दैन you know uh, improve your skills upgrade your skills you can apply for the job and when you go for the interview or before the interview if you think that uh, your na- uh, name is going to be shortlisted then start preparing for that particular skill and in the interview be very clear be very open be very honest tell the employer okay you don't have that relevant experience but you are um, you have this curiosity of learning and you will learn and you will improve so सच बोलने से कोई नहीं मरता यू जस्ट हैव टू टेल द पर्सन अगर जो है इफ द एम्प्लॉयर इज अ यू नो ट्रूथफुल पर्सन एंड द एम्प्लॉयर इज लुकिंग फॉर पीपल हु कैन यू नो टेक ऑन द जॉब एंड हैव ऑन जॉब लर्निंग्स एंड लर्न एंड एक्सेल इन ड्यू कोर्स ऑफ टाइम देन दे बी यू नो मोर देन विलिंग टू टेक यू एज एन एम्प्लॉय और हायर यू बट इफ द एम्प्लॉयर हैज सर्टन लाइक दे हैव एवरी एम्प्लॉयर or every company they have their own set of rules and they look uh, at those rules and accordingly they analyze the candidates so for that reason you have to you know um, in some organizations moral is very important so the first preference is uh, ethics and morals so if you are a um, you are a person who is full of moral morality then obviously you are going to be hired but then if you are a person whose morality is uh, you know it keeps on shifting according to one's interest then um, you cannot you know uh, even if you are hired as a employee employee you cannot survive longer in that particular environment so it becomes more of a toxic environment for yourself and you too become confused because you don't know where you fall you don't know whether you fall in the full morality type people or the immoral type people so that becomes a confusion so you have to be straight in your uh, thinking in your path and then go accordingly so this is regarding uh, you know challenges when we are in professional life or we want to enter into professional life these are the professional challenges we face as a candidate and uh, even while we are failing so those failures they are not going to stop us now i remember about myself that there was a time that i used to apply so much on different kinds of jobs and all those jobs which met my skill set but then for those organizations i was not a fit and uh, then i was not uh, shortlisted and then there were certain organizations where i was shortlisted but then something uh, went wrong in the final stages and i was not appointed so and thing is i was not appointed so but what did i do did i lose my hope or did i just think okay i am not made for the jobs or i cannot do it and no one appoints me and uh, my life is a failure and i am not going to do anything no i did not do any of that sort cause these were the obstacles which were preparing me for something good so i kept on working i kept on working on different things now i'm an entrepreneur i can do anything what i want if i want to do a certain project i just get into that project and i do that project and as long as it's satisfying me and i'm happy about it and uh, my concern is not that uh, that i'm earning very much uh, in that particular thing my concern is is it giving me satisfaction am i fulfilling what i started what my goal was like teaching over here or doing sessions over here it gives me utmost satisfaction when i can see people 
whose lives are changing through this education or I can see people, those who cannot afford a good education, the way their lives are changing, what impact it is creating. Like when people approach me, then I come to know, okay, so this and this session, it helped them. And they are open in sharing their stories. And that's my ultimate goal. If a person can, you know, find the root, the root cause of what's stopping them or what's uh, becoming an obstacle in their view of success and then they are approaching me accordingly in order to help them to you know proceed further in different directions so that's my ultimate goal so uh, for that reason that's why I say that as a professional you should not give up hope you should not lose hope you should not think that uh, your life is meaningless you don't know what Allah has prepared for you, what life path has been, you know, um, made, you know, available for you or the path you're going, that's meant for you. So you just come to know about these things in due course of time. But for that, you have to be on the path. You have to keep on trying. You have to be consistent. You have to be full of determination. You have to keep going, no matter whatever anyone says. If someone tells me that you speak in English and you don't speak in Urdu and people keep on saying, speak in Urdu, speak in Urdu, well, that's my limitation. There is a certain level at which I can speak in Urdu, but then I cannot speak in English in Urdu. So why I speak in English? The kind of language I speak, it's very easy. It's basic English. Everyone who is even a grade 7 person, like who has done 7th class or even 5th class can understand my English. I do not use difficult words and that's intentionally I do not use. It's not that I don't know how to use English, a strong or uh, difficult words. It's just that I want everyone to comprehend my messages very clearly and it should be comprehensible and it should be digestible. So whatever I'm saying, it's uh, I'm always trying to deliver it in chunks and in a way it's, you know, digestible for everyone. So if uh, my, uh, you know, my language was not clear, then Sunny Suleria, by this time you must have, you know, gone offline. So if you are still over here, it means my language is quite audible and you can understand. And same is with Man Chaudhary. If uh, you were unable to understand my language, well, you always compliment me that I have, uh, I talk in a good way. So thank you for your compliment. Okay, so this is uh, my second point regarding overcoming professional challenges. Now my third point is, um, again, like in despair, there are certain, uh, you know, situations when you are in despair, like if we consider healing from an emotional pain. Now that emotional pain can be anything. It can be the death of a lost, uh, a loved one, or it can be uh, some kind of broken relationship, or it can be a uh, feeling of hopelessness or a heartbroken, or maybe, uh, you know, it can be anything. But then time is a great healer. And the more time we spend in that particular, you know, um, grief, it helps us. It teaches us valuable lessons, valuable lessons about ourselves, about uh, relationships, about what we as individuals truly need to, you know, coop up regarding those relationships or if there is a mend we need to make some kind of mend or we need to improve upon ourselves in order to you know cater for that particular relationship but then there are you know there when it comes to relationships there are every kind of relationship and if we are in some kind of toxic relationship it's not worth continuing in that toxic relationship the earlier you can you know get away from that toxic relationship the better it's going to be for you and for everyone around you and even for if you have kids so it's going to be better for the kids or, or otherwise if you're going to be stick in that particular toxic relationship then the kids they are going to grow up to be toxic as well or they might be you know um, not of a complete balanced personality so for kids no one wants them to have you know incomplete personalities as parents it's a tough decision or as couples it's a tough decision to take but you always have to focus on what's good for the children if you cannot you know uh, resort to um, settlements among yourselves so this is regarding as like in um, times of despair when it comes to broken relationships so this is how you are healed or you heal from emotional pain 
and then um, my fourth point it's about personal growth through adversity now uh, how can i explain this to you like um, uh, you might have seen like as uh, you know adults or as amateurs uh, most of us uh, or most of you might have been an athlete so what is uh, like when you're an athlete what are the kind of circumstances you face or uh, what are the challenges you go through like uh, being an athlete an athlete goes through many challenges like it can be knee injuries it can be you know any kind of injury uh, it all depends on the kind of you know sport you are playing so uh, mostly uh, athletes have uh, like some plays uh, um, in some place um, athletes might have some kind of head injuries or, and then there are knee injuries or there are ankle injuries and there can be every kind of injury so what do athletes do do they stop playing or do they just give up no they do not give up they stop playing for the period till they heal themselves or their bodies are healing themselves but then they come back with a more stronger body with a more stronger determination with a more stronger goal so ye cheeze to bhai aapne jo hai dekhi hongi aksar ki bhai jo matches hote hain chahe cricket ke ho chahe football ke ho people when they fail those matches they don't leave those matches they don't you know say okay i did not win the cricket match so i'm not worth it i'm just going to leave cricket i'm going to go go to some other um, sport they do not do that rather what they do is they focus on their weaknesses and they improve those weaknesses and when they come back in the field they are a much stronger athlete they are a much stronger person so this is what despair teaches you despair does not teach you to give up in life despair teaches you ke jo obstacles aapki hain take those obstacles as opportunities and there is light at the end of every tunnel कोई भी टनल हो जिंदगी में भी जो है हर वक्त आपको नाकामियाँ नहीं मिलती जो नाकामियाँ हैं टेक दम एज अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड ट्राई टू एक्सेल आउट ऑफ दैम राधर देन उनको अपने लिए आप बेड़े बना लें या पीढ़ियाँ बना लें ओके सो दिस इज़ हाउ यू ग्रो पर्सनली थ्रू एडवर्सिटी यू बिल्ड यू नो योर मेंटल टफनेस एंड एवरी थिंग यू नो इट इनेबल्स यू टू बिकम मोर स्ट्रॉगर एंड मोर रिजीवियन and uh, my fifth point is about like uh, how innovation is uh, born out from necessity like wo kehte hain na zarurat ijad ki maa hai so this is exactly like uh, a person who is uh, maybe uh, you know um, having some kind of financial crisis whether it's a business or whether it's an entrepreneur so um, what is adversity going to do for them adversity is going to teach them how to face that particular situation agar business mein jo koi trouble aa rahi hai ya as an entrepreneur you are into so many projects or aap jo hai you might be at the verge of collapsing regarding certain projects but then you do not give up what you do is you try to figure out what is going to be the best way out how can you you know turn it into a favor so you try to look for solutions um regarding different complex problems and that's how you know innovation is born and bahut bahut jo hai complex jo solutions hote hain to complex problems for isi tarike se jo hai they just born out you in a jiffy like you not in exactly in a jiffy but you are thinking about that problem continuously and then once aap jo hai bas baithe hote hain aur aapke zehen mein solution aa jata hai so you know आपके जितने भी प्रॉब्लम्स हों जितने भी मुश्किल हों वन यू डू यू नो वन यू गो आउट एंड डू सम काइंड ऑफ वॉक और डू सम काइंड ऑफ मेडिटेशन तो आपके जो दिमाग में जो कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रॉब्लम्स होते हैं वो सुलझना शुरू हो जाते हैं क्योंकि यू आर यू नो गोइंग आउट ऑफ योर नॉर्मल रूटीन लाइक इफ़ यू आर सिटिंग एट द बिहाइंड योर डेस्क ऑल डे लॉन्ग एंड यू हैव दैट प्रॉब्लम इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू you won't be able to concentrate you won't be able to think beyond anything you won't be able to think out of the box but when you are meditating or you just leave your area for some time aapne jo hai aksar dekha hoga and then you go for a walk and you think about that problem during walk because there are times like uh, 
यू थिंक एंड देन देर आर टाइम्स यू डू नॉट थिंक सो वो वाला जो टाइम जो वॉक का टाइम होता है इन दैट टाइम यू आर नॉट थिंकिंग अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम बट अनकॉन्शियसली इट्स इन योर सब कॉन्शियस माइंड सो इवन दो यू आर नॉट थिंकिंग बट देन इन योर सब कॉन्शियस माइंड यू कैन कम अप विद अ सोल्यूशन फॉर दैट कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रॉब्लम सो यू नो यू हैव टू यू नो डू दीज थिंग्स इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट डू आई वॉट आई इंटेंड टू मीन एंड हाउ यू कैन एक्सप्लोर इट सो यू हैव टू एक्सप्लोर यूर सेल्फ जब तक आप अपने आप को एक्सप्लोर नहीं करेंगे यू वॉन्ट नो वट कैपेबिलिटी यू हैव और वट लाइज अंडर नीथ यूर ब्रेन और दिस स्किन ऑफ यूअर्स सो यू हैव टू एनालाइज यूर सेल्फ यू हैव टू गेट इन टू द डेप चाहे वो आप जो है मेडिटेशन से करें या आप वॉक से करें या आप जो है जस्ट अनकॉन्शियसली जो है यू जस्ट थिंक अबाउट दैट प्रॉब्लम यू विल कम अप विद द सोल्यूशन सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट इनोवेशन फ्राम एडवर्सिटी एंड देन माई लास्ट पॉइंट इट्स अबाउट कम्यूनिटी एंड Uh, sport networks no it's not the last point it's the second last point so what do i mean by community and sport networks like uh, you know uh, there are people who go through every kind of uh, situation now uh, if someone is going through some kind of depression and uh, that person might feel isolated and might be in despair so seeking help from friends or families or from sport groups or from people who are good at you know listening to different people and uh, by listening to them you know um, most of the problems um, they are resolved if you can find people who can listen to you and they can give you a good piece of advice if you are seeking for advice but then there are so many people who when they are in despair or when they are depressed they do not want to seek advice rather they want people just to listen to them so there are so many people like that so you can always you know uh, and then there are communities you can uh, always you know join certain communities where you know everyone comes and they share their stories or whatever is going on and then those are the kind of communities which are supporting each another it's not that if you are sharing something with them they are going to you know just uh, expel it out uh, in the whole world okay this person is like this and uh, he shared this or she shared this and everyone on the internet knows about that particular person no these are the kind of communities where there are people who are or were in that similar scenario uh, in their times or in their periods uh, and uh, they are there to help the newcomers who are you know going through that problem and then they can you know talk to those in those communities like we have uh, uh, here um, as you might say uh, we have counselors or we have psychologists or uh, then there are psychiatrists as well and then um, there are so many rehabilitation centers um similarly there are community centers and in community centers you can find many people who are doing this kind of work some are you know doing it voluntary and then there are someone some who are you know uh, giving uh, uh, consultations as just as uh, you know you pay the doctors so they also take consultations so there are so many groups you can always join these groups and you can you know whatever is going on in your heart or in your mind and you feel despair or you feel in depression you need to you know take it out you need to share it with someone someone who can you know provide you with a resolution because obviously every one of us we are seeking for some kind of resolution there are people who do not know how to you know get uh, that resolution so for that you have to uh, you know um be directed to the rightful person or you need to search about communities and groups who are uh, those people who are going to help you in that particular regard kyunki baas dafa insaan ko khud bhi nahi pata chalta ki wo itna zyada depressed ho jata hai ya itna zyada jo hai frustration ka shikar ho jata hai ki that person does not know who to talk to or who to go to but then again such communities and such support networks they always come in handy so always be on the look for such certain groups rather than you know just scrolling through the social media cause uh, where there are benefits of social media there are you know disadvantages of social media as well so for that purpose you have to be aware of communities and sports group so this is my second last point and my last point is about um life's transitions and new beginnings
so you know what uh, transitioning into a different career or transitioning into a totally different human being it's quite challenging it becomes challenging at times like if um, i try to explain to you from the uh, perspective of like uh, when a person moves to a, to another city or maybe to another country for a better future so in the start as a person you might feel uh, many difficulties you might uh, find uh, certain challenges which you have to overcome like uh, certain challenges they can be of language language barriers they can be of you know uh, nationalities uh, you won't be uh, finding uh, people who look like you in the beginning and then you might have trouble in making friends because uh, of the language barrier and the um nationalities as well and the citizenships and then um there are certain other things that the culture is different or the country is different they have different rules and you have to abide by certain other rules so there are so many things so whenever you know there are life transitions it does become challenging but it does not mean you cannot overcome those challenges so even though it might be a time of despair for many people but you as a human we are prone to you know get out of those despair conditions through our you know communication through our adaptability and through our mindset that we can do anything or we can achieve anything and you know um, such transitions they always offer something new it's a new opportunity a new opportunity like you might uh, have a good job when you are you know transitioning into a new life you might make uh, new friends you might have the opportunity to visit to new places those places which you might have just dreamt about or uh, must have just seen in movies and then there is an opportunity which has been given to you and you are able to you know uh, face and see those opportunities so as a person you need to you know accept these things so you know, acceptance of tiana don't be fearful um of the despair or the challenges you are facing rather be very courageous be open to accepting when you start accepting things in your life then things uh, are changed in your life for the better and don't be uh, don't ever be uh, you know afraid of despair or uh, obstacles so this phrase basically uh, this uh, the, in fact it's a metaphor um about the darkest uh, nights so the darker nights producing the uh, brightest uh, you know stars it always serves as a powerful reminder uh, that we sh- as a as humans we should always hold on to tough times and no tough times remain forever so where there is tough time there is going to be something good in life in due course of time so the challenges they are often the pers- a precursors of something good which is going to happen in our life and we need to you know embrace change and success along with it and um, then uh, every dawn like jab suraj nikalta hai to har jo naya suraj hota hai wo apne saath ek possibility of uh, you know uh, um, abundance of opportunities apne saath lekar aata hai and uh, it's always full of uh, opportunities and possibilities so um as a person we always have to look towards the brighter side of life rather than you know seeking into the negative things or negative sides or always thinking about negativity so jis tarike se suraj har suraj apne saath jo hai ek ummeed ki kiran lekar aata hai isi tarike se as humans we need to see at the positive side of things rather than getting into the negativity or negative negative cheezon ke bare mein soche aur despair ke bare mein soche so this is all what i wanted to share today now i'm just going to go on my social platform and to those of you who were able to okay thank you for your comments i can already see them so those of you who were able to understand today's topic you can show it to me through your emojis and uh, i have uh, ganesh maharaja thank you so much for joining and watching this session so and agar jo hai kisi ko aaj ka topic clear nahi tha to tab bhi you can always you know tell me in the inbox uh, whether it was clear to you or whether it was not clear to you and uh, then if you like the sessions of mine and if you like my videos i would uh, like you 
to you know go on my youtube channel and subscribe to uh, my channel so i can you know uh, keep on working on bringing the more good topics to you which are going to be beneficial for you uh, in your professional life and in your you know daily lives and your personal lives as well so uh, do subscribe to my channel uh, that's uh, what i wanted to add at the end uh, and um, if there's any other topic which you want me to discuss you can you are always more than welcome to you know let me know in my inbox so i can you know address those topics and then i can you know discuss those topics with you as well so um so i exactly know what you want me to you know entertain or address in those topics so this is all i wanted to discuss with you and now if there's someone who wants to come live at the top of my screen um, i have to see you at the top of my screen only then i'll be able to invite you live so if there's anyone ganesh maharaja uh, would you want to uh, would you like to come live in this live stream that's totally up to you if you want to come live and if you do not want to come live then no problem man jodri you were calling me you want to come live uh, in this live stream so you can come live and sunny solaria if you want to come live you can also come live but then every one of you have to uh, be shown at the top of my screen like i have to see that green camera button uh, where i can invite you and you can either accept it or you can decline it so if i have no one over here and no one wants to come live then i'm just going to wind up the session so i'll see you tomorrow evening same time uh, 8 pm same platform till then bye bye and take care allah hafiz